Hi everyone, my name is Anita Wallace and I'm Chair of the Lymphedema Support Network. And I'm delighted to welcome today Dr. Catherine O'Leary, GP from Oxford, who is joining us for the fourth in our series of our expert question and answer sessions. So welcome Catherine and thank you so much for, for agreeing to join us. So Catherine, this is a question that we have actually often been asked. Um, my GP thinks that nothing can be done to help lymphedema. So what can I do about that? Uh, well, I'm sorry to hear that some patients experience that. Um, I guess maybe some of that comes from our knowledge gaps as GPs. So I, I think I would in, encourage you to kind of keep the conversation going with your GPs. And if you, you know, have resources that you can share with your GP, but point them in the direction of the LSN um, professional information and the BLS professional information, because I know as a GP, I've learned so much from those. And that, that would be a really good start to share the resources that you know. I mean, I guess us as GPs, we see so many conditions and, and, and we can't know a lot about all of them. And I think as, as long as we, we kind of keep ourselves aware to that and we'll listen to patients, then hopefully um, we'll accept that you guys are experts in your disease and, and we try and help you along your journey as best we can. So, yeah, I think share, share the good, valuable resources that the LSN have got with your GP and hopefully they'll, they'll hear your story. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is one of the reasons why, you know, we set aside funding to produce our second online training module with BMJ Learning, because we know how you know, important it is for GPs to better understand and how they can help and support their patients. Yeah, the, the learning module is excellent and I think e easy for GPs to access. So I'm, yes. and I'm hoping to spread the word, you know, part of my GP fellowship that I'm doing in Oxfordshire is about spreading the word, not increasing GP workload, because I think GPs are already under a lot of pressure, but just giving them simple to tools to help them come up with a diagnosis and then know what to do next steps really with your guidance and really getting patients to the place where they need to be to start getting the help they need. But hopefully, um, for lots of reasons, there's such an enthusiastic group of pe people in the lymphedema world. I've heard from you all at the conferences, um, professionals, charities, all the national specialists. They're there. I know they're beating the drum for lymphedema. So I think if we can just connect that enthusiasm and get that across to GPs, not significantly increase GP workload, but just get them thinking about lymphedema and referring to the right people so patients can get the support they need, then I think that's as much as, you know, we can hope for in, in current times, really. Yes, lovely. Thank you, Catherine.